In the United States, the ADX Florence is the last federal supermax and the toughest prison in the country. This is the home to the most dangerous and feared man, Joaquin Guzman, better known as El Chapo. Life of El Chapo in the prison cells is quite fascinating and yet shocking. We have to give one to this man for escaping a maximum security prison in Mexico twice. Can you guess how? In a laundry basket. Nonetheless, as of today, El Chapo shares a room with the world's deadliest criminals at ADX Florence. What does El Chapo's prison cell security look like? Is it scary? Can the Mexican drug lord ever escape the supermax? Stay tuned till the end to find out. Welcome to the NARC web. Today I'm going to find out whether the strongest security of ADX Florence holds yet another escape attempt of El Chapo. Before answering all these questions, if you are new to this channel, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to get the latest news on interesting topics. Let's begin. In the maximum security prison of Punta Grande in Mexico, El Chapo would hold parties in his cell and would conduct business out of the facility. What you're imagining is true. It didn't take the threats of El Chapo posed seriously. In Punta Grande, he was living a lavish life filled with fun and enjoyment. Despite all these, El Chapo still wanted to return to the lifestyle he enjoyed outside the penitentiary. He was quite desperate to enjoy the no-rule life. And do you have any idea what he did? El Chapo snuck out of the prison of Puente Grande in a laundry basket. It all happened in 2001. After he managed to escape, he continued his reign of chaos and narcotics trafficking for over a decade. He was arrested again in 2014, but the law declared that he needed a more secure prison with stricter amenities. He was later transferred to Altiplano Prison. He was not allowed to have parties. He was given limited access to the outside world. So, he had to do the only thing he was good at. Yeah, you're right, he escaped. And to escape for the second time, he had to do something tricky. He had his associates dig a tunnel under the prison and create an opening in the cell's shower floor. He had done all of this so secretively that the guards took no notice of what was going on, and by the time they realized what was happening, El Chapo had already descended a ladder and hopped on a motorcycle waiting for him at the bottom of the tunnel that was dug. He rode the motorcycle a mile underground to a house that was a situation on the outskirts of the prison, and right from that place, he finally managed to escape. But fortunately, he was arrested for the third time again in 2015 in a raid by the Mexican authorities. And the worst possible outcome for El Chapo occurred when he was informed that he was extradited to the United States. At last, the drug lord was flown to the United States and before his trial, he was put in a maximum security prison. He was then tried and found guilty on 10 counts of narcotics trafficking, drug crimes, and money laundering using firearms. El Chapo was finally moved to his current residence on the 19th of July 2019 at the Administrative Maximum U.S. Penitentiary Supermax in Florence, Colorado. His punishment was a life sentence plus 30 years in prison. He spends 23 hours of the day in his cell, which is breakout proof. Now you might wonder, what is his cell like? Or how does it look? And what does El Chapo do to pass his time? And the answer is, not much. El Chapo's prison ADX Florence is known as the Alcatraz of the Rockies. It was opened in the year 1994. It's said that the prison is designed so that there are no records of anyone escaping it. Because of the preventative measures put in place at its inception, no one has successfully escaped prison. One of the main reasons is because of the position of the cell. The prison room of El Chapo was made out of reinforced concrete walls, ceilings, and floor. It's quite uncomfortable. The room itself is 7 feet by 8 feet. Two doors separate the cells from the hallways. The entryway that El Chapo stares at while being locked in his cell is made up of an interior bar door, and behind it was another solid door that was made of metal. The whole design was made to reinforce the isolation concept, ensuring that El Chapo realizes that he's stuck in his cell. We did mention that El Chapo spends 23 hours of the day stuck in his room, so what about the extra one hour? He spends that on his recreation. During this one hour of recreation, El Chapo is brought out of his cell and is escorted to a concrete pit reminiscent of an empty swimming pool, where he can walk only 30 steps with guards escorting him. El Chapo is not allowed to leave his cell to eat. All his food is delivered through the barred inner door before they seal the outer door again. A solid concrete table is barely big enough for him to sit and put his food tray on. 
The table doubles as a desk with a stool, both of which are made of solid concrete and built into the cell infrastructure. So El Chapo has no way to move anything around his cell, as almost everything there is made of rocks and stuck in its place. There's a shelf for keeping the radio near the small desk. There's also a black and white television set that is rewarded to El Chapo for his good behavior. TV programs include recreation, education, and religion, and no other channels would be allowed for him to see. In that case, he would not be allowed to watch any documentaries or series on the streaming services that have recently been made about his life. El Chapo's cell consists of a concrete slab on which rests a very thin mattress, his bed. It's made of concrete and it's mounted onto the wall. It has been designed in such a way that El Chapo feels uncomfortable. The bed is just big enough for him to lay down and the size of the bed is too small to allow El Chapo to stretch out in a meaningful way. There's also a single window in his cell, which is 42 inches tall and 4 inches wide. By estimating the size, you can guess that it's not an actual window, but more of a slit in the concrete wall of his room. The opening scene provides a scenic view of the dreary, gray prison roof and a small sliver of the sky. The windows are also designed in a way that prisoners in the ADX prison will never know what kind of prison they're kept in, and in that way, they will never be able to make a plan and inform their associates where to find them if a breakout ever occurs. The cells are made to be soundproof so that the inmates cannot communicate among themselves inside the prison. This was also made to make the prisoners unknown when the guards have arrived or passed or when people are given any faculty at any time. The cell design also ensures that no tapping or banging on a wall is heard and will not create any sound outside the room, not allowing the prisoner to communicate with each other via Morse code. Now you might wonder if El Chapo spends 23 hours in his room, but what about the bathroom? Well, every prison cell has its own toilet and showers, so El Chapo can perform his business and maintain his hygiene without transferring himself to any other bathroom facilities. The shower is inbuilt with a timer to prevent any flooding of the cell and not allow the prisoner to drown themselves in the water. Inside El Chapo's cell, there's only one light. The guards control the electrical appliances inside the room, including the room light, so if any time the current goes out, El Chapo has no option but to stare at the silent darkness across his room. Also, El Chapo won't be able to use the TV, radio, or lights when the guards turn off the power. No phones were allowed in the cell, and it's obvious. But if El Chapo maintains good behavior throughout with every guard inside the prison, he would be allowed outside visitors. There was a thick glass window that separated him from everyone who would come to meet him. Life in ADX is far from what he had experienced in his previous prisons. Previously, he used to live a luxurious life and where he felt trapped. Just like all the fixtures inside his cell, he's stuck there. When asked about his experience in the ADX cell, El Chapo said that being in this cell has been torture and said that he was living the most inhumane life he had ever lived in his life. He said, I've been physically, emotionally, and mentally tortured. Now, we all know that El Chapo has committed serious issues outside, and living in such a prison like ADX will fetch him the exact punishment he deserves. Answering to the question in the beginning, can he ever escape this extraordinarily designed security cell? Hmm, I don't think so. Well, even if he manages to escape Supermax, do you think he can get through the 12-foot electric fences, armed guards, heavily trained dogs, plus Fort Carson that's equipped with the 4th Infantry Division is just next to ADX? With this, there's no way a man can escape the Supermax. What did you think about this? Comment down below, leave a like, subscribe to this channel, and turn on the post notifications to never miss out on anything.